from HealthyHappyLife.com and FindingVegan.com. So today's recipe is for my coconut milk matcha ice cream. And today I'm going to be using Encha green tea. And this is a really great use for the culinary grade of Encha. Coconut milk. This is the full fat variety. Matcha, of course. Some sort of a sweetener. This is like an apple honey. These are our ingredients right here. To prep for making this recipe, you want to take your coconut milk and stick it in the fridge overnight. <laughs> it's nice and hard. It's opaque and white and creamy. And this is called coconut cream. And this is going to be the base for our, our ice cream. So you want to take all the coconut cream. It's okay if some of the jelly liquid gets in there too, that's fine. This whole banana, a half cup of non-dairy milk, a fourth cup of this vegan sweetener, and about a fourth teaspoon of salt. And that just really contrasts with the, all the sweetness really well. For this ice cream, I'm using the culinary grade of Encha. This is an organic second harvest matcha. Four teaspoons of the matcha. And that makes it a really dark green color. If you want it more subtle, if you just want to add a really tiny hint of matcha, you could definitely do maybe two teaspoons. Boom, and that's it. That's it. <laughs> that's the only prep for the ice cream recipe. Maker base that's been freezing in my freezer overnight. And then you're just going to turn it on and pour this in. Usually it takes about 15 20 minutes. So after this is done churning and it's a thick ice cream like texture, then all you're going to do is you want to get some sort of a freezer friendly container. I always use my bakeware and then you're just going to pour it in, stick it in the freezer for maybe an hour or two and it will firm up enough so that you can scoop it. And voila! Mm -hmm. Such a perfect combination. I love it so much. So I hope this helped you learn how to make a coconut milk matcha ice cream at home. This one's so great for this recipe because as you can see, it's like clear in color, so it's not gonna darken the matcha at all. So this was really perfect. I found this at Whole Foods. You could also use coconut palm syrup, but that one is a little darker. You could also use maple syrup or just a straight up agave syrup. If you're wondering if you can skip the ice cream maker and just use a blender and freeze the mixture, the answer to that is no. This particular recipe is really made for an ice cream maker. What the ice cream maker does is it whips in air so that it's fluffy and light. With the ice cream maker, the volume is coming from the additional air. With the blender ice cream, the volume is coming more from bananas and ice. If you're really interested in making a ice cream just in your blender using matcha green tea, that's absolutely possible.